Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use J list in your frame or form in Eclipse GUI application. So in this video, I'm just I just want to show you how you can add some item in the J list or, or how you can use J list. And in the next video, I will show you how to how to uh, link your J list with the database. So let's see how we can use JList first. So I will go to my components uh, palette and I will search for JList. Drag and drop this JList in your form. And remember, once whenever you want to go to or whenever you select this JList and whenever you go to your frame, you need to make a rectangle in order to make this JList appear okay so make a rectangle for uh, for uh, uh, this j list otherwise when you uh, click this and click this here it will uh, just disappear your j list so for example i select here and i click here itself you see it's a small j list and which i don't even see it right so you need to make a, this kind of a square in order to see it now for example I add a button here to load some values so I will say load value okay so I want that whenever I click some uh, click this button some value will be loaded here so how can I do this it will not work like combo box uh, as you expect that you just uh, need the name of your combo box and just add item it will not work like this jlist need a model to load the values okay so first of all we need to create some model for the values and then we add them so for example i double click this button and we reach to the button click event and we want to um, add some uh, values to the list so first of all we need to make a model and how we can make a model for uh, the list just write default list model okay so this is a default list model which you can use for the j list okay default list model and it's not an array Right now I'm not using an array or element right now, but I will just use an object DLM default list model is equal to new default list model. Okay. And close it. And then I use this default list model object DLM to add the values to the model. So just write dlm dot add elements so the values or the list in the j list are called elements so just add add elements and you can add some elements here so for example you want to add some name you can write for example first name mark and in this way you can populate your list I want two or three names so I will write Mark, Julie, John, Marcus, and okay. So I want to add five items in the list. So I add it like this. So if you notice what I have done, I have just declared the model and in this model, I have added the element. Now I have the, the element in the model, I can pass this model to the JList. So just copy the name of your JList. My JList name is list. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't know the name of your list, just select your list and see the name of your list like the, yeah, from here. So my list name is list. So just copy the name of your list dot set model set model okay so we have this model dlm so we can pass this model to the list okay so 
also li like this and when I run my program and when I click this button these all name will be added to the list see and when I click it once again what will happen it will add this once again or it will clear this value and once again load that so let's see when I click this button once again it always creates the new values because we are creating the item and then adding it if this will be our global variable then the value will be keep on uh, adding but we at the time of uh, performing this action only we are creating and we are adding the value for example I define this DLM object outside the action perform method let's see what happens add the values you see the values are added below right so in this way you can use this uh, jlist there are some properties also which you can uh, change in order to use jlist for example select your uh, jlist you can change the font of jlist from here even you, you can decide your model from here so you can just write uh, for example mark or some names you can even define your uh, list from here okay and then when you run your program you see they better whatever you define in the model will come here and you don't even need to give load the values from here okay and there are some other properties like uh, what property I want to show you here you can use yeah so selected index of this uh, list is by default minus one but you can change the selected index to uh, some other values for example when I run this and when I select something it by default nothing is selected because the index is minus one right when I run this nothing is selected and when I select this it highlights so by this selected index I can change this for example I want to highlight Julie I can uh, sel uh, set the model to one because the model starts from 0 1 2 so I will run the program and it's not like this okay so you see here selected model whenever I do it like 1 it changes here when I do it like 2 uh, the model changes to 2 right so like this so by default it's minus 1 I leave it as default and you can multiple or you can select multiple index from here also and you can enclose your list box like I have done for table by scroll pane just select your list right click and surround with you can surround with panel or split pane or scroll pane or j tabbed pane okay so in this way you can use list j list in your uh, eclipse GUI application in the next video i will show you how you can add or link your database value with this list so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now